Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, June 8th, and I'm uh, speaking to you today from Shul. Well, not actually from Shul, but this is where we've been davening, and I have to say that it's been uh, so refreshing. It's quite a pleasure, the fresh air outside, and it's possible that uh, people may not want to go back inside because it's been so enjoyable. But uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, abiding by our uh, system and for continuing to work together with us. And please remember to sign up for the Minyanim as you would like, and we want to try and accommodate everyone that is possible. Please continue to daven for a uh, Refua Shalema. For those who need Mordechai ben Elka, Rabbi Falzev ben Rickel, Gittel Basara, Noah Alice Batlilach Hester, Rezel Basara, and all those who need our healing. And <clears throat> coming to you from not only davening outside, but I'm pleased to say, and that's why I wanted to film out here today. It's just right now, it's me and the squirrels. You can hear them and the traffic. But uh, I'm, I'm really excited that uh, tomorrow, on Tuesday, beginning tomorrow, we'll be having our regular shirim that we have, the women's class on 1030 on Tuesdays, which is open. Uh, please join. And also the Gemara class, which is after davening, uh, we will be having outdoors here in the tent. That's very exciting. And not to worry, if you can't make it, I will be streaming it on Zoom as well. Therefore, if anybody cannot make it or not comfortable being in the crowd, we'll be, have the same opportunity to study uh, together with us. I want to wish today a uh, special happy birthday to uh, Sarah Reber, uh, also a, a frontline worker, so thank you for everything that you're doing, and happy birthday to you. I hope you have a great day. And today's sponsor of our Devar Torah is actually the youngest sponsor we've had yet. Uh, Julia and Lily Kaplan are sponsoring today in honor of their parents' 23rd wedding anniversary. So it's uh, Debbie and Neil's 23rd wedding anniversary. They are actually, the, you could say this is the goat year. The goat is the greatest of all time, number 23. But um, Mazel Tov, now uh, those, some, most of you probably know, but of course it's a, a large family contingency here in the shul. But if I am not mistaken, I think Debbie and Neil were the first couple in a time to be married. So in other words, when the shul was founded uh, that many years ago, 23 years ago and change, uh, they were the first wedding within the shul community, within the shul family to take place. So mazel tov to Debbie and Neil, mazel tov to grandparents, great-grandparents, so to Anne and Bernie Sklar, and of course to great-grandmother, to Julia and Lily, uh, Baba Millie Zuckerman. Uh, you should only have nachas and simcha from all of your children. Now, um, one of the things I, I, I just was thinking about Debbie and Neil, uh, people know, of course, Neil's a bit of a character, but um, given what's happened this past year, and a lot of a lot of excitement, uh, particularly in your uh, in your lives. But uh, I'm glad to have you both back on your feet here together, and always always working hard to make sure that the shul is running smoothly. Always checking in, making sure that we have what we need. So uh, Mazel Tov to you. Should have many many more years of nachas and simcha together. And uh, Debbie, I don't know how you do it, but there's got to be a medal in heaven for you somewhere for you know just putting up with Neil. But that's a whole other story. But I wanted to share this piece of the Dvar Torah uh, in your honor today. And I figured that, you know, it's summertime, let's continue studying Pirkei Avos. We have nice little snippets of things that we can use and hopefully it will uh, give us a thought for the day and something that can uh, find a little bit of inspiration. Yossi ben Yochanan Yishur Shalayim Omer Yehi Beisicha Pasuch Lervacha. We had a exchange of two different uh, scholars and this comes in the first chapter in the fifth Mishnah, and I'll just share with you the first portion of Yossi ben Yochanan. He was from Yerushalayim, a man of Jerusalem. And he said, Let your house be open wide. Let it be open wide. And I'll share with you Rabbi Wine's commentary. In the previous Mishnah, Yossi ben Yoezer preached that we should be, have your house open to Torah scholars. But here, Yossi ben Yochanan said that one's house should be open to all who are in need. The word lir vacha in the Mishnah is usually understood as wide open in reference to the house's doors. However, Reb Shamshin Fal Hirsch states that the word lir vacha rather describes the ultimate purpose of the home. It should be a home that offers succor and aid to all who need it. Hospitality, an open and welcoming home, is the Jewish inheritance from our father Abraham. Yet, we must again stress, as in everything in Jewish life and Torah, Balance is necessary. Houses that are completely devoted to guests do so at the expense of children and other family members. In Gentile culture, the familiar maxim, charity begins at home, 
is usually used in an exclusionary way, meaning one should concentrate on one's own needs and not give way to outsiders. In the Torah perspective of our Mishnah, the maxim has a double meaning, that an open home is the surest sign of charity and goodwill, and that our own home and family nevertheless should be the primary and justified recipients of our charity and goodness. Having known uh, Debbie and Neil all this time now, and by the way, I'm very fortunate, and, and the first time I really got to know uh, Neil, because Neil was part of the hospitality, the welcoming committee when we had our tryout here uh, in, in March, a number of years ago, and it was Neil who was taking care of every detail to see that we had what we needed. Even standing next to the Bima with a cup of water while we were being peppered with questions and giving answers. Something I'll never forget. But ever since then, serving in leadership positions, quietly and subtly reaching out to those who are, are in need because their house is open, their hearts are open, and that's the way they teach and lead, and that's the example they set for their children. So, uh, Debbie and Neil, on this anniversary, I, I hope that you'll continue setting that example for all of us. May your house always be wide open. May be open and filled with mazel, open and filled with love, open and filled with kindness, as you often show to others. And this is the day that we recognize you. So, uh, again, enjoy this day. Keep bringing a tremendous amount of nachas, not only to us, but to your entire family and to the Eitz Chaim community. And always remember the words of Yossi ben Yochan and Ishu Shulayim, your house should be open, Lervacha. We should all follow your example, have our doors, have our hearts, and have our homes wide open, as wide open as possibly as we can get to you. And I'll add uh, a, a, a one last note here, reading off Rabbi Wine's interpretation, is that the home that offers aid to all who need it, hospitality in an open and welcoming home, is a Jewish inheritance from our father, Abraham. Debbie, we know exactly where you get that from. Also from Abraham, from Abraham Yaakov, from Abe Zuckerman, Zichron Lavracha. And this is something that's a family trait, and it's something that's also a learned behavior, and you have both. So again, Mazel Tov, enjoy your anniversary. Um, I would say that Neil's going to take you out somewhere nice, but there's nowhere to go. But in due time, he will, and let's continue celebrating Simchas together. Again, I look forward to seeing everybody here in this tent, in our shul, for classes, for davening, for whatever it might be. And then soon enough, we'll be back inside there before you know it. Have a great day.